Hello, I'm Dr. Zachariah George. I'm a neurosurgeon with additional orthopedic spinal surgical training. As a dual trained spinal surgeon, I offer my patients both minimally invasive as well as complex spinal surgical solutions. Today I want to speak to you in particular about a therapy that we're especially happy to offer our patients. This is cervical disc replacement surgery. And it's done as an alternative to cervical spinal fusion for herniated discs in the cervical spine. A typical patient that may come in for consideration for this type of surgery is a patient who has either cervical radiculopathy, cervical myelopathy, or a combination of the two, what's known as cervical myeloradiculopathy. In cervical radiculopathy, patients tend to complain about neck pain with severe radiation down the arm, which shoots down the arm. They can also have numbness or tingling, and even weakness in a specific nerve root distribution. In cervical myelopathy, these patients tend to have numbness and tingling in their hands, as well as loss of fine finger ability or dexterity in the hands. Patients can also have imbalance in their, in their walking, among other problems. And in cervical myeloradiculopathy, there's a combination of the two. In all of these settings, patients must have a cervical spine MRI, which demonstrates a herniated disc, which accounts for these problems. Once this is noted, patients are usually, as long as they don't have any significant neurological deficits, they're sent for conservative non-operative care. This can include physical therapy, injections, or a combination of the two, and this is usually done for at least six weeks. Once patients have failed this, they're indicated for surgery. Once they're indicated for surgery, the question is, which therapy do we offer our patients? Do we do a cervical spinal fusion or a disc replacement surgery? Well, uh, to make this decision, uh, we usually use strict criteria for disc replacement surgery. In cervical spinal fusion, uh, this therapy can be given to you, really all comers with herniated discs in any kind of clinical scenario. But for cervical disc replacement, there has to be strict criteria that are followed. For example, patients have to have a soft disc herniation uh, as opposed to a bony herniation or bony compression of the nerves. Uh, these patients tend to have very little to no arthritis or degenerative changes in the spine. These patients must not have any instability or any significant fractures. They must not have um, uh, any cervical significant deformities such as kyphosis or scoliosis. These patients also can, must have fairly good bone quality and not have any significant osteoporosis, osteopenia, or other bone metabolic diseases. Once these criteria are met, patients are uh, a good candidate for um, cervical disc replacement surgery. So what are, what are the benefits of doing a cervical disc replacement as opposed to a cervical spinal fusion? Well, in a cervical spinal fusion, the goal of the surgery is to take away the offending disc or the compressive uh, pathology from the nerves of the spinal cord. And then we place in uh, a small cage or a spacer with uh, screws and sometimes a plate to hold everything together. The goal of that surgery is to prevent any motion at the disc level um, of uh, where the problem is. However, in a disc replacement, the physiological normal uh, motions of the spine are mimicked by this new technology where the patient retains the ability to flex, extend, and rotate, uh, whereas in a cervical spinal fusion, this is lost and there's very minimal loss of flexion extension, etc. So uh, these patients don't have to wear any um, a cervical collar or anything like this. So this is a fairly good option. Um, as far as outcomes, both surgical candidates do very well with significant reduction in neck pain scores, arm pain scores, and um, uh, significant improvement in their neurological pathology. So both these um, uh, surgical therapies are very, very good and successful. The question is, um, uh, which uh, surgical option is the best uh, for you as a patient? Uh, please uh, call our offices and find out.